It's Ray, Ray Gift, Gift TV. TV. The GOAT. Uh-oh, we got content. Okay, so check it out. WAC 100 goes off on Big U and Willie D. What? Let's get right to it. It's Ray Gift TV. He's growing loose too fast, loose getting too big. We got to shut him down. We going to expose something on Monday, and then y'all going to go at him on y'all platforms and do this and do this and do that. A bunch of old Negroes that do not understand when something's bigger than you. You heard that, way? That's what my back door called me today and told me. Man, so you believe that the whole association is based off of trying to knock you off your square? All of them is down there. That's Jay Prince move. They all they all down there. Yeah, I hey, seen that. Rich, do you agree that CJ Mack she be hanging out with Big Useless? I can't tell CJ Mack. He a grown man. He gonna hang out with who he hang out, but. If he subscribed to other niggas' politics, then maybe he's in, you know, he's moving wrong. But, you know, he can hang with who he want to hang with. I didn't like CJ. No. I, I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking CJ down there and they just talking and CJ nodding his head. Because my back door said that CJ really was like, he was agreeing, but he wasn't doing They say Willie D was popping it. Because remember when back. y'all had the interview, CJ was kind of trying to, still trying to be a fenceman. You know, he was trying to mend fences. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, but I see he where he at now. Now that he might, he's got to be the, because I'm trying to look at what's the nature of the association that they having right now. The thing is, whack no too much. We got to figure out who the back door is. <clears throat> CJ, we need you and Willie D to fire up them podcasts and go at him there. Knock him off his square, and we got to shut loose down because he's growing at a fast rate. Hey, there was some cold rats over there, man. From, from what you're saying now, it's like, all right, let's look at it like this, right? They 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 go by this rap a lot records empire, right? We gotta call it rap a lot records now, bro. You know why? Because you just spoke about the ghetto boys. The ghetto boys is three people, right? So now you telling me, um, Bushwick Bill is a rat. Now Willie D is a rat. So that's two thirds of the ghetto boys is rats, right? I, we just all seen earlier this year, I love Bun B, but I hate to say it, we seen him turn rap. That's a part of rap a lot of rap. Yes, ma'am. Pimp C would be rolling over in his grave right now. You know what's going on, right? And now you got the new rap a lot. Yeah, I opened it. I told Wack I'm going to open it. With J. Prince Jr. signed up. All right, yeah. So it's been the block here. It's a lot of rap going on. Trying to sort of traffic. No, it's a rap. Doc. It ain't rap a lot of rap. No, hey, down for, yeah, and then uh, yeah, as many people as we get over there, we the got them over there, and then we'll, uh, Ray Gibbs got it from there. Hey. All right, salute to the hundreds. I don't know. I don't understand why. All right, everybody. Um, Willie D would oh, jump wait. in something like this and get it, bro, and tarnish his legacy like this, bro. Wow. I, don't, I don't get it, bro. And like, Those. I got love for CJ Mack and. And, and Dub see my brother. So, like, I really want to go in, but the amount of love and respect that I got for Dub, right, is way more than the distaste right now that I got for what CJ might have, might have potentially been propositioned to do. Now, the back door say CJ was not in agreement, but he wasn't yeah, as vocal as here. Willie D. Well, he did. Everybody you was looking at 20 years. The they let the you stay on the street 10 months. You come back and get 12 Jay months in a day. But what? Maybe, maybe okay. Jay Prince flewed everybody team. out. <laughs> Nobody can fit on that plane. Huh? Nobody can fit on that plane. paper plane. That paper plane, Big U was just on. Nobody can fit on that, man. Oh, okay. That's so, a paper so plane, man. 
You don't think that this is a a, a trip that Jay Prince finds? Anybody finding? go to spin the block? Um, the block. Yeah, I, I definitely do. I That's a fact. He, he the thing got is, the who was the white people that was on that plane with him? I didn't know. <laughs> He I hit the rock. Yeah, so don't hit the rock. I'm a hungry. Yo, you right. Everybody Who was those people? Go to spin the block. <laughs> Who was those people? Because I didn't know Uber went in the planes, the Uber share ride. I'm about to shut this down. And then the crazy part about it, all the white people in the front, and all the black people in the back. That's like some Rosa Parks shit. Yeah, that's crazy, Luz. I ain't even, I ain't even think about it like that. You right, though. All the black people was in the back, though. And she has a con. Miss Doja, is it even open yet? It's open. So, I, I need to. See, this is used to CJ Mack doing yeah, it. At this point, I'm just I saying it over and over. Uh -huh. Everybody going to spin the block. That's Nobody, bro. No link. But you're not going to Debo. What kind of man? The streets I come from? The gangsta I come from? Link in a chat. We don't Debo old women, older ladies, bro. Yeah. When they dare to write. At the end of the day, I, I, I don't. Fuck what I'm talking about. Right. The documentation gonna beat the conversation. So all the antics you coming with, right? right it don't mean nothing. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I realized that, that uh, the Jay Prince squad we shall Jay see Prince tomorrow. wasn't as smart at eight o'clock as people thought he was. Now that contract is, kind of is simply to the footage she has. Have to have That's it. Right. Time so time. when I get this text from Jay Prince, right? Mm. Hey, homie, I just spoke with Miss Hoover, and she has a contract okay, where the old man signed his rights to her before the contract you have. So let's figure out a fee for the footage. Now, see this right here is some okay. is, is, is is some idiot shit. First of all. Yes, she has her husband's life rights. The contract I sent you was a contract to this documentary style footage of Larry Hoover speaking. But even so, if you saying that's non and void, then why you want to figure out a fee? Yeah. Well, let's take another break. We're going to get back to it. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. See, the problem is. Y'all thought whack was capping. Yo, go get that blue face Everybody single stop capping. <laughs> Available on all platforms. Let's take a break, man. We be right back with the Dub C C J Max show. We got whack one other. Yeah. What up, y'all? I'm Dub C. And I'm C J Max for the Dub. Now, it's about to get real interesting because C J Max is about to try to defend him. And he's going to end up agreeing with me. See, the CJ I know is a very sensible, fair guy. He don't play the middle. He just like, he called a spade a spade. If it's something he can help. See and CJ Max show. If it's something he can help, it, then he'll help it. If it ain't his business, he usually stay out the business. Let's go. Um, first of all, know this. And I'm talking to Lil Larry Jr. Because I, I got a chance to meet him in Miami. Okay. He was in the same box a couple of years. Shut up. Shut up. I Shut up. 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 February 5th, I talked to Larry Jr. and he had never seen the clips. So I had to send him the clips that Jay Prince had already had two months. I don't know if he think he bigger than the program or what, but he had never seen them, right? So when I called and spoke with him and his family attorney, I was telling him, listen, this thing's gonna happen. I think it would be a great idea for you to narrate your father's situation 
it's easy for me to go get a big name to narrate. You know, that's that's easy. For sure. You know, and I'm not asking him because I think uh, for marketing wise, it's the best thing. Morally wise, it's the best thing. This is your father. He's a, you know, I see pictures of both. He's spitting image of him, right? And I, I've been seeing things that, that Larry is saying, Junior is saying. And I hold nothing against him because I know he's being misled. But I, I want people to to look at this the other way, another way. Because Jay Prince, over the years, the decades of doing whatever he's doing, he's been having a way of brainwashing people. Oh, yeah? To thinking he's doing one thing when he really up to a next. I really think and believe wholeheartedly that Jay Prince's whole mission is to somehow, some way, in a slick snake way, is to set it up so Larry Hoover cannot get out of prison. Oh hell no. I disagree with that whole Hell no. I've been there since I was I was signed to that record label in nineteen ninety no. nineteen ninety four. The Not efforts started good. way back then. We went on trips with that family. We did everything we did. We moved around. On the West Coast, you gotta was watch it, CJ. Everything was in support. CJ Mack, you gotta watch it. Everything was in support of that family, man. I, I believe he, he's he been helping them people and, and fighting with them people. Been fighting fighting with them people. Right. 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 Larry Hoover, for my, what I'm seeing, has been locked up since 1973. Right. 49 years. Mm -hmm. um, they used against him that he was a, a political leader, a gang leader that promoted violence, that because of his call and say so, would have violent things happen. This is what the government used against the brother, right? His whole movement to come home has been getting getting away from what GD was perceived to be as gangster disciple and turned it into growth and development. All right. All right? Okay. okay. His whole movement has been to show the people through growth and development, I am totally against the violence. I'm totally against these things. And it needs my voice and my leadership to stop. Right? We talk about his community. Right now, if Kanye has went over here and did his deed with Donald Trump to get the one step law uh, reinstated so he can appeal, his appeal is going to be based on his behavior in jail of not being involved in any malicious acts, any attacks, nobody saying that he sent them to do anything. No, uh, uh, nothing found in his cell to represent a uh, gangster disciple, but to represent growth and development, whether it's books he's writing or things he's writing. If this is his movement and this is what he's going to claim in front of these people as reason why you should let me go, I'm a changed man. Why would Jay Prince in the name of Larry Hoover Go to social media and insinuate in any way that it's on. It could be smoke. Why would he sit his son, Larry Hoover Jr., on the side of him, even when he's having these type of discussions? He should have said, in the name of rap a lot. And put, by any and all means, you protect that man's name. You keep anything that has anything to do with violence, a threat, or an act of any of these things that they have used against him for 49 years, you keep that away from his name at all costs. But in the name of Larry Hoover, which is not Larry Hoover, Jay Prince has sat here in front of the world and called Karen Chapman, uh, a, a, a fraud says she stole something, she forged things, and you know, or else just what you better do, because Larry Hoover, my homeboy, and I'm the voice of the Hoover family. 
So if this woman was to decide what she wants because she loves and respects Larry Hoover, she, she stresses this, I'm going to go file a claim because I'm scared. What's going to happen and what are they going to dig up and use against this man when his day comes to stand in front of these people and say I'm a changed man? I get what you're saying. I don't think that's intentionally done, though. Whether it's intentionally or not, bro. Mm. I just think it's a lot of frustration. I think, I think it's y'all. There y'all go. Yeah, yeah, y'all y'all think y'all go. Right, He's a bad leader. He's a bad representation. Listen, if he is frustrated and he's that mad, no amount of anger. His wits is supposed to, he's supposed to keep his eye on the prize, bro. You do not go there because the focus is Larry Hoover. And you know what these folks been using against this man. So the first shot fired, the first body that a drop, the first time that this sweet lady, right, decides to say, I feel intimidated. And only thing coming out your mouth, Jay Prince, is Larry Hoover, Larry Hoover, Larry Hoover. You know how those people that are a Against Larry Hoover is going to use it against him. I would be the first to say, I don't feel Larry has said any of this. He's in a lockdown prison, a maximum security prison. He don't get to see people. He go to yard by himself. All this. I personally don't feel that he's directing this. But for you to say, CJ, I don't think that's his intentions. It don't matter. When you doing it, they're going to use it as that's your intentions. We talking about things we know and with these people, we know how they work. So because of that, and I hear everybody say how smart Jay Prince is, how intelligent Jay Prince is, how Jay Prince always has a motive, always have to what he's doing to make things happen the right way. Hey, bro, I'm just doing the math. So if you're that guy, but you're doing this, that's against that. I, I see exactly what you're saying. I do understand that. But I think that right now, man, it's the, I think the two of you you know what I mean? I, I said this. I said this when I was talking to him. Yep. The movement for Larry Hoover is so much bigger <laughs> than the two individuals that are clashing. And like you said, man, like you said, okay, I, I'm going to give you that, what you're saying, okay? So even knowing that, right, that's even more the reason why two grown men, bro, should be able to sit down and say, look, man, Let's work this we out. got on some ego stuff with each other. I Let's said something about out. you, you said something about me, or first place, or whoever did whatever first, right? We ain't kids, right? And this man's thing is at stake. Man, let's try to get this thing together and shut out the bull crap, man. Question. And then, wait, 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 bro, because this is passionate for me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he a real dude, and he a good dude, dude. And I know Jack good dude, bro. Like, that man changed my whole life, bro. So I, I know that. that. I so Jay what Prince. I'm saying is, yeah. bro, the, the grown man thing to do, man, is to let the ego bullshit go, man, and look at the bigger picture on both sides and say, look, man, let's get together, man, fix this shit. What, what good is it going to do somebody get chipped? Because it could go crazier than that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it ain't people, worth it, bro. Because, because, it ain't worth it, bro. It's like you got a lot of people that love you. A lot of people love him, so y'all just think it's going to go. It ain't about where you from. Yeah. Here my question. What? Are you willing? Just listen to me. Are you willing? If the situation presented itself to sit down with over a phone call or with this man and try to work this out. Oh, me and Blood got to get out. There we go. Call me. Listen. See, that's why I'm CJ. You see how CJ is? He's real diplomatic. He's real neutral. So I don't want to believe, but I know he, you know, my back door ain't lied yet. He ain't told me no lies yet. This whole live right now, we were supposed to have been interviewing somebody totally different. But I'm getting the call, Luke's getting the call, and I'm tripping. I'm like, wait, somebody just, he's like, whack, I got somebody that's in there that's, I'm like, I got 
back door up under. He landed the other day. Right? Yo, listen, Jay Prince, why you so pressed by me, man? All this started because you wanted to bully our, our elderly sister, man. And I got the phone call from behind the walls to make sure she was straight. I didn't get paid for it. I just gave my word that I was going to make sure she's straight. And I believe like anybody standing with that, anybody that got an elderly uh, individual in their family, anybody standing with the fact that you mad at whack for making sure this old lady business is straight, then that's on you. But I'm just trying to figure out, Jay Prince, you're doing business with Mad, with, with the old man, with, you know, Mr. Turner, who already was under indictment worldwide for two years against you and others, the chief of police, right? The one that you was using to sweep your son's rape cases and all these situations up under the rug. They didn't force him to resign. And you shaking like Don Knotts right now because the Democratic stronghold you had in your city, you know old Trump finna move everybody out of office. You see how the tables turn? You used to speak on, you know, our man Harry-O all the time because he was in the penitentiary. Now he's free, standing on the side of the very president who's about to move your whole regime out of there and the other people finna come in and the things that you thought was being hid and kept secret are coming to the light. You are under investigation and you know it. Big you, you have th two, three fed cases and you know it. Okay? Willie D, you are a rat. That's one of them T's when you just learn how to sound shit out. <laughs> you were so looking you tell me they moved across the country, uh, across this globe. Across this globe, they have a rat convention. And talk about us. Luke's talking about the exposures got to go. I'm like, what? And y'all let little dude really trick y'all into, listen, Dub, see, I'm sorry. Even if I said something I wasn't supposed to say, and I don't think I did, because you my brother. You know, you my brother. I never, ever do nothing to, uh, dishonor you but holla at your man cj man get him back on track and let him know bro this ain't the way to go you know me does see that's I my respect and respectable yeah yeah it's like, all different holla at your man man because please cj don't don't make me do this dance with you you a real west coast you want our guys out here bro like you know, I know dude is calling upon you for the ignorance. And I really don't want to be going at this dude. But when I'm getting calls, and you got to respect it, CJ, you got to respect it. Because as fast as it was happening, I knew. My Instagram told you that. Right? I knew. We got text messages, too. We got all that. Right? Y'all got Big U down there. Boy, Big U don't like no Jay Prince. Luke, you know what Big U used to tell us about Jay All Prince. Because Jay Prince didn't like Molly Maul. You remember the time when he wanted that and we didn't do it. Because we like, nigga, on this one, you got to come. Like, I'm like, oh, city looking at so weird. Cut. And you know this boy part of this grid program, Jay Prince. But you probably part of a program too. We already know Willie D then already went along with the program. Y'all all there programming. We the exposers, y'all the programmers. Red a lot records. Right? And that's real. 
Go what away. you was about to say, Rich? What What you think? I mean, what are they actually down there doing together? What kind of business could they actually be putting together? What What they associate with? My Do back door tell me they working on what? What is? I ain't it? got no artist. My back door tell me he was informing them that there's no extradition down in Belize. So he was bringing this to their attention, right? Um, he's telling Big U that he's looking at him to deal with me and Loose. So now I'm like, we know Big U ain't finna get on no gangster shit. So is we go taking the police? Like, what you, what you got going on? I like, want you to go ahead and take out loose and whack. And I handle <laughs> everything on this end from now on. I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna get with the D and, and, and CJ to do the YouTube thing, you know, because uh, you know, I, I know I got a back door, and I think he paying him. Nah, it's the fact you ain't paying him. I don't pay the back door nothing on everything Pablo stand for. I ain't never gave him a dime. Not one dime. A lot See, of police activity like going rap. on down there. Whole lot. Whole lot of police activity going on down there. Whole lot. You know, I'm going to tell you on some another tip. What I never see is, I don't never see no women around none of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what's going on? Yeah, where's the women at? No. Oh, oh, the women is right there. They just looking in form of men. All them bitch ass niggas. But Thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, maybe man. maybe we said oh look. Hey buddy, we 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 can't skip over that big U was showing the footage of the plane and all the white people in the front. He can't he J Prince booked him like Go to the back. You know, like this is crazy. He's showing everybody in the back. He had his daughter and his wife in the back of the plane. You get what I'm saying? I don't even understand why Big U got on that plane and even uploaded that. Like he uploaded it like it was a flex, bro. Like you really thought that was a flex hopping on that plane? Just make a big U just. He just sent me a text talking about I hear y'all talking. Look how this nigga mad dogging me. Get <laughs> on your head. <laughs> he he watched your show. Hey. Yo! I ain't gonna change the subject, but hey, look what I sent you about Brick Baby. Huh? Yeah, I got the paperwork too. What on brick? What you talking about? Look, check the text. Man, like brick been having a hard couple weeks, man. You know Listen. what I'm saying? Hold on, man. We got caught on. Wait, what's going they on? They shooting baby oil all over Unk and oiling itself down. And but that's man. something else we got to think about too, though. Think about this: if they reaching out to brick, if they reaching out to big you and uh cj and all them you know big you gonna try to delegate some of that work to brick baby no he already been doing it see brick got caught in the case remember we was telling you about the case right then we started telling you about the fed case see we do a little digging a whole lot of digging brick baby got caught punching on his um baby mama Mm. In uh, LAX. Mm. Oh. So, when the case come about, right? Everything stopped or whatever. Oh, when he get yeah, picked up right. by the feds, they told him to work, and we make everything disappear. Mm. 
Man, listen. So we got all the court dates and everything like that, and then all of a sudden everything vanished. Listen, man. <clears throat> Brick having a hard time out here. He done said some disrespectful things about Guwap. And he know he gonna have to be held accountable for it. He done said some disrespectful things about himself. I I don't know what his plans are. I don't know what y'all plans are down there in Belize. It seemed to me y'all should be down there enjoying the culture, the food, you know, the dance. Maybe going to visit some villages, you know, go talk to the youth down there. I'm pretty sure some rappers, big youth, you can go over there and lie and tell them you Nipsey Hustle manager and you did everything for Nipsey. You can go tell all the lies you want to tell. You know, like Jay Prince, I'm pretty sure you doing something for the people already. And the rest of y'all, y'all have some pretty prominent people down there. Other names I'm not going to mention right now because these are people I've done other business with. And I just think they're there because you invited them there. But nevertheless, like, bro, you got to stop trying to have these secret meetings that ain't never a secret. You got too many issues going on with yourself, brother. Too many. Your son... J. Prince J. Jr. is going to be the reason why y'all fall and you know it. You just ain't gangster enough to remove the cancer. You understand what I'm saying? You doing your whole team um, a, a disservice by even keeping him around and in the loop, son or no son. What about the rest of your team that he putting in harm's way, that he putting in jeopardy by doing the bozo stuff that he's doing? Every time you look up, he's bringing some type of attention, some negative attention for some BS he's doing because he's running his mouth knowing he ain't going to kick up sand at a dry beach. And I'm letting you know right now, Willie D, I was a fan, bro. I still am a fan of the music. And this just a little bit of where I could go. Hey, bro, don't play with me, homie. The, the problem is this. That man. That man beat you out a whole lot of money. Wasn't that your conversation to a certain individual? That that man beat you out a whole lot of money? Huh? Wasn't that your conversation, Willie D? You but how, how, how do Scarface feel? Being a part of a group way. that you has know, two thirds of a his race. Way. Scarface went his way. He out the way. Scarface just had some 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 life threatening surgeries. His son, you know, uh, salute gave him an organ. You know what I'm saying? Scarface out the way. He don't even involve himself. I'm tripping on right now on why Willie D would even allow himself to even be pulled into anything like this. I never thought in a million years I'd be sitting up here with an issue with Willie D, man. I ain't got no issue with you, bro, but you're going to make us have an issue, bro. You're going to make me stay in your business, bro. You're going to make me be a real, real, real dagger in your back, bro. Every time you think I ain't coming, I'm coming, bro. Willie, I do not care, bro. I don't care. I'm not a rapper. Jay Prince. Rocky Flamingo Wood family was there. You was nice. In the alley downtown at Kanye Sunday service. You was nice. You was with Deion Sanders' ex-wife. Mm. Dolo. I was Dolo. I said, homie, what's happening with all the aggression and all the woofing? Oh, you know what? It ain't nothing like that. But how long we been knowing each other? Listen, man, everybody could get it done. Mm. I'm tired of you whooping and what you going to do and this, this, that, and I got people in your city. It ain't a Negro in Pacoima that's going to approach me talking about Jay Prince out they mouth to me with any form of aggression. Baby gangsters ain't going for it. All you got to do is utter a name and I show you how it go. But I'm telling you, old man, you 60. You just made 60. 
you walking around with bad feet talking about I bet you can't walk to the liquor store. Don't nobody walk to the liquor store. I no. ain't walked to the liquor store since I've been like seven, eight. Nigga, I rode beach cruisers, mini bikes, go karts, sprees, uh, G rides, base head cars in my own car. No, I don't want to walk to the liquor store, nigga. I, I don't want to walk to the liquor store. All you did was walk down Liberty. Woofing. We respect your business hand, man. Nobody saying your business ain't right. We just saying you ain't right. You. You mad at me because I defended a, a, a elderly black woman. Come on, homie. I protected your son, Junior. You know what happened in that Fountain Blue lobby. Fun of Liz. You were standing there with that youngster, stunning him coming in 20, 30 deep. You grabbed my arm. Why don't let him do it to me? Do what? It's the boy right there. You in the lobby, you ain't right. Had to escort you in with me. Put you in the VIP in the back. Put stunning him up top in the front where you always go. Cause you shaking like Don Knox. Stop oh, playing sweet. tough, bro. I oh. hate niggas that know me in real life and go to playing tough, bro. Jay Prince, you know what it was in that alley. Everybody know me, bro. When I caught you in that alley, you was humble. You whooping about what you gonna do. Nigga, you hit, we hit. You hit, we hit. Ain't nothing safe. All you gotta do is, homie, give me an inkling of an inkling that you own that. We already know where everything at. Everything. So we don't care about all that. Nigga, you got you a live wire. You hit, we hit. You better know that big you, he ain't got no more juice. Ain't nothing respecting him out here. He ain't never put in no work. I got real respectable road in 60s who they told me the stories of y'all went on missions, went to jail, and they guns empty and your gun is still full. Mm. You don't do that. Uh, I ran with you for 17 years. You sat on this couch in my house right here with your head down, asking for assistance and help. When you beat your kids damn near unconscious and DCFS took your children. The power who called helped you get them back. Boy. Oh. You better leave me alone, homie. Cause you ain't like that. You 57, 58 years old. You not like that. You got bad knees. They gotta pull eight bottles of blood out of your knees every 10 to 15 days. Boy. You need to kick back. All y'all with your little buster parade down there. Hey, bro, y'all too old to want to deal with this. Because it ain't going to be a walk in the park. It ain't going their way for sure. Willie D, come on, bro. You got habits. You go by your little spot over there. And I don't want to mess up your relationship. And your little thing thing over there, boy, we on your bumper now. Because you let this bozo pull you into something that ain't got nothing to do with you. Jay Prince, we shouldn't even have a problem. You should respect the fact that a man is making sure a sister's all right. You know I'm not wrong. I told the world every time you lied, I put it up there. Why y'all getting into it? Cause Wack wouldn't let him bully a old lady, old black lady. Did you lie and tell the people the footage he got can help Larry Hoover get out of jail? This ain't nothing but Larry Hoover sitting in the penitentiary telling his life story. Him telling his life story ain't gonna help him get out of jail. But let me tell you what else ain't gonna help him get out of jail. You sitting there talking about in the name of Larry Hoover is on. 
you want Larry Hoover to stay in jail so you can keep utilizing his people and fake mm-hmm. acting like you're trying to look out for him. He ran that play. Hey, but isn't Willie D is like the, the guy that's the size of a Chucky doll? Nah, that's Bushwick. No, that's no. Bushwick. Yeah, and that's Bushwick, you kept him astray. Willie D run his mouth. We coming at you next. And we gonna expose the other Willie D-ism. Bro, stay in your lane. I'm a fan, homie. On par root. But nigga, don't play with me, bro. I'm a wide yeah, baby. I don't know I'm you a wide baby. Don't play with me, bro. Don't let this little dude drag you into something that ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. Big useless. You hate Jay Prince. I'm looking at you like. Oh, uh, yeah. What is you doing? <laughs> you set the play up in front of the club for the Roly situation and try to make it look like it was the homies over there on rodeo. You down there, you big, you, you vicious. You down it with this man, knowing that you was part of the line on his own feed. The cool one. Come on, homie. I was there when Jay Prince called your phone. Lou, we at the studio, big head spot. He mm-hmm. like laughing. Hey man, you know, something going on, my son, cause you look at yeah, yeah, is that right? What's going on? What's happening? Everybody's standing right there with all the goods. Yeah, let me call to look into it. This bitch ass nigga, I can't see this bitch ass. Fuck this nigga. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah, let me look. Luz, you know, big, you cannot stand Jay Prince. Can't stand him, hate him. Y'all down there, a bunch of serpents just. Intertwined with each other. Shed your skin, homie. Bro, they're gonna, they're gonna start biting each other. They're gonna start biting each other. What? Yeah. The only thing spray. gonna happen is I'm gonna make you move and we gonna move and everybody gonna just be moving, bro. I'm not the one. I'm not a rapper. You can't call nothing on me. You can't do none of that, bro. We're gonna cut the grass. We're gonna see all the snakes. It's, it's over with. Big uterus. Don't you down there in Miami game. right now doing everything under the sun. He ordering all kind of weirdos to his crib down there. Yo, man, thumbs up. Subscribe, follow. We got my man Kilogram in here, Ghost. We got Loose Cannon in here, my man Rich. Subscribe, thumbs up, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to RB, thumbs up. We just here pretty much dressing. We got J Prince invite Big Useless, CJ Mack, which I'm trying to really give a pass to because I don't really think he want to be part of this circus. And y'all know I y'all know I really don't give a fuck. But Dub C is my guy. That's his guy. So I'm they told me CJ just was kind of head nine to green. But the dude, the rat dude, Willie D, was had a whole lot to say. And you don't respect Jay Prince. You think he robbed you for millions. You know the things you had to say? Like I'm looking at all y'all like y'all some busters. This dude, 60 years old, everybody got a bag. It's a recession. Don't take much. Instead of this dude starting a war, he's supposed to be trying to seek peace and be like, yo, this ain't that serious. Let's all let it go so we can coexist. Yo, big you, big you. I'm like, I'm looking at you like, yo, big you, come on, homie. I know you ain't got that weak, but you entertaining that. He really treating all them niggas like little niggas. Them niggas is too old to be getting treated 
like little niggas, bro. How is y'all going on missions for another nigga, bro? Another nigga that y'all don't even like, who probably don't even like y'all. Don't like him at all. Hey, Wack, you said crazy. they was, you said they was trying to expose something on Monday, right? Oh no, that's what the back door. He said they said they gonna expose something on Monday. So <clears throat> I don't know. We the exposers. We expose us. Come with it. You hit. We hit. We ain't. But it's like it's like it's like how he got the fear of God and all them old niggas. Like, have any of y'all ever heard of any demonstrations that Jay Prince done put on? I ain't never heard of Should no not kick that dude in his ass in Las Vegas. This you know what I'm saying? I ain't. Did, did you ever hear about a demonstration of him getting back at Shook or anything no. like that? No. no. See what I'm saying? Like, listen, I'm, I'm telling you, they be on the net talking tough, paid blogs, try to boost up their ego. They be soft as cotton. They don't even be like that. We talking about like they be like Subway sugar cookies, just like the like these is bozos. Midden tops, like oven stoppers. <laughs> tops is crazy. Niggas still trying to live our, our stories from 20, 30 years ago, man. Yeah, that's Ain't nobody what I'm worried saying. about that. Yeah, they be talking and like, what y'all gonna do? We waiting. We stay waiting. We the only ones that's in the street doing stuff something you get what i'm saying like ghost you just said like well a couple of days ago you showed me like eight nine demonstrations you get what i'm saying that's a fact they in my phone right now all they all they do is just one that oh we're gonna do something do what i want to know waiting. what jay prince gonna do him and mary turner under investigation right now the dude Mayor, the Mayor Turner that wore the wire for two years. Oh, you and everybody is. I want to know what you about to do with that. I'm confused. Houston, could anybody help? Y'all know. Whack 100 going off on Big U. Man, he ain't playing. Them dudes trying to Voltron. We're going to see what happens, man. Y'all keep that notification bell turned on at all times. You don't want to miss out on any premium content. I will deliver 24 7 around the clock you already know and everybody else they're working hard every day it will pay off if you believe it you'll achieve it do what you got to do today to be prepared for tomorrow and there you go but until next time she boy ray give it i'm gone god bless peace